Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I am back with another iPad tutorial. Friends, this one's a request, so let's get cracking. All right, friends. So a user said, how do we make sweeping text on an iPad? Friends, I'm going to tell you this is not for the faint of heart, and you're going to have to try and try again. But here's how you make it happen. So bring out your chunk of text. I'm going to make it say... HL Mod Tech. We are not using an added keyboard. If you had an added keyboard, this is a lot easier. When you do this duplicate trick, you got to make sure that you don't click anything after you do it because what it does is memorizes the steps. So I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to make it shorter. Once again, there is no keyboard in this, it's just me using the skills. At this point, I'm going to click Duplicate. You can't touch anything else or it breaks. So if you misclick, this thing is dead. So after I hit the duplicate, I'm going to zoom in. And I might have already killed it. So you got to do three things. One, you got to move. So I moved it that much. I'm going to look at it from a corner. Two, you got to rotate. I'm going to rotate it three or four degrees. And I can't see that because my finger's under it. So I'm going to just come close. And then you got to lift. And I'm only going to lift it one millimeter. If you can do those three things without touching anything else, they get memorized. And it goes again and again and again. Mine didn't go again and again, so let's try it again and see which one of those steps I missed. I'm going to undo back until there's one. I'm going to just drag that away to make sure there's only one. There was not. There were two. Let's try this again. I'm going to start by being zoomed in first. I'm going to hit the duplicate. I'm going to nudge that out a couple millimeters. I'm going to carefully touch the view cube. I'm going to do the rotate. Well, see right there, I probably broke it. I'm going to try again. There's my rotate. <laughs> I definitely screwed that up, so I'm just going to hit delete. So we do it again, duplicate, nudge it forward. And seriously, the time I had success with this, it probably took 10 tries, but I'm showing you that it is possible. Here's my rotate. I can look under my hand, you guys can't, but I just did the four degrees. Now I'm gonna do my lift carefully and I wanna lift it about one millimeter, harder to do when you're recording. And then friends, it recorded the rotation, and the nudge, and the lift. So we can end up with cute sweeping text. Phew! I am not going to say it's a smart project, but I am going to tell you, friends, it is possible. <laughs> make those colors something funky. I'm going to make them yellow, actually. I don't know how I ended up with two selected, but I really don't care. Let's real quickly, I'm going to try and make this all special color. So I'm going to do my double click grab. Bingo, I got all that. Then I'm going to make them all blue. And then because of that state, a little bit south and a little bit east, I'm going to make the top one the color maze. <laughs> or actually, the top couple. Friends, there you have it. Four things you had to do. Duplicate, nudge it, rotate, and lift bam you can make your own sweeping text with lots of practice i think you can actually have some fun friends i am backing up to show you this so you'll notice the colors are wrong but when i finished this i wasn't smart enough to select it all which i'm going to show you the trick where you double tap stretch it takes a little practice but when you get good at it it's amazing and then because i had an oops in my nudges we could have easily fixed it by just doing a line bingo that would have been so much smarter but i forgot to show it in the original steps there they are now though all right friends so i am back at my pc so that means i'm going to have a keyboard don't forget you can attach a keyboard with bluetooth there the nice thing about tinkercad between the two devices is bam your designs show up on both so i can hit tinker this and i'm going to show you just how much different the project is when you're doing it with a pc
So this time I'm going to do control D and I'm going to move this over here. Instead of HL Mod Tech, I'm going to put Hail because I am a big Michigan fan. I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit. I'm going to pick a different font just so you can see that it can be changed. Let's do F for Fit View. So friends, here's what I'm going to do. I can click and change my nudge. I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to nudge forward two clicks. I'm going to do Control Up three clicks. One, two, three. I can easily grab this rotation handle because I got a mouse. You can attach your mouse to a tablet as well. I'm going to do a five degree rotation. And friends, without touching anything else, it is this easy to create your awesome rotated text. How fun is that? And make the last one yellow. So friends, the moral of the story, possible on an iPad, but a lot more trial and error on an iPad. Both can be awesome. You can use these nudges in the iPad that may help you as well. But friends, I just wanted you to see it was possible. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.